Good evening, and welcome to the 2021 Legacy Gala. This sure looks a lot different than past events, doesn't it? But it's all good because the important thing is that you're tuned in and ready to hear about all the exciting things happening at Borgade. We are so grateful for you joining us for this first ever virtual event. Throughout the program, you're going to hear from a number of amazing BCHS community members, each one of them sharing a unique message. Though it has been a challenging year in many regards, it has also been a year of opportunity for our school, and tonight, you'll hear why. Before we get started, I want to recognize and thank Mr. Mike and Sheila Geddes, who, as you may know, have offered an incredible matching gift of $20,000 in support of our Legacy Gala efforts. We are so grateful for their continued generosity and love toward Borgade. Thank you, Mike and Sheila. If you feel called to make a gift at any point during or after this program, you can do so at LegacyGala21.GiveSmart.com. Donations can also be made by texting LegacyGala21 to 76278. I'd also like to thank Sienna Art Portraiture Studio, who has stepped up to support through a matching program of their own. Sienna Art is matching donations between $500 and $5,000 with a portrait service of equal value. Check out Sienna Art's beautiful work at SiennaArtPortraiture.com. Lastly, thank you to the amazing businesses, organizations, and individuals who contributed a donation item for our online auction. And congratulations to all of our auction winners out there. Now, to kick off our program, let us place ourselves in the presence of God as we offer up our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear holy and loving God, tonight we are thankful for the opportunity to celebrate this year's Legacy Gala. Though we are unable to enjoy the physical company of one another, we are blessed with your guidance and grace in persevering and finding a way to celebrate our mission and the generous support of our community. Please continue to watch over our students, our faculty, and all of our alumni, and all of those who have shared their gifts with our school. We pray that you continue to guide us with compassion and love, and in your name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I'd like to now invite your attention to one of our current students, Abby Lindell from the class of 2022, and Mr. Michael Grimma from the class of 2020, as they will lead us in our school's alma mater. Enjoy the program. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you for that wonderful rendition of our school's alma mater. And to all of you, thank you for joining us for this very different but very important event. My name is Javier Bravo, and I serve as the principal of Borgade Catholic High School. Tonight, we have an opportunity to celebrate our school community in a very impactful way. In the spirit of remembering our history, embracing our present, and envisioning our future, we are turning to you for your partnership in our mission of helping students discover and develop their God-given potential. Throughout this program, you'll get to meet some of our amazing students and learn about some of our incredible accomplishments from this school year. And toward the end of the program, we will be sharing with you an exciting announcement. On February 29th of last year, many of you joined us in Blue Angels Hall for the celebration of our 2020 Legacy Gala event. Just a few days later, our students and faculty were heading off for a well-deserved spring break to recharge and get ready for the home stretch of the 2019-2020 school year. During the break, our world was changed forever as the COVID-19 pandemic came on full force. Our students never returned to their classrooms, marking an overwhelming challenge as we began to look ahead to our 2020-2021 school year. While our summer months were filled with intense meetings, difficult decision-making, and a struggle to anticipate what was coming, our community rallied together to start our school year in a hybrid learning model that included both in-person instruction and online instruction. In an effort to keep our students safe, we implemented strict protocols in mitigation. We asked our teachers and students to follow guidelines, knowing that it would pose difficulties to our normal routines. We asked our parents to remain patient as we gave all of our attention to facilitating policies and procedures that would be conducive to a healthy learning environment. I am happy to share with you that last month, we welcomed back nearly 80% of our total enrollment for in-person instruction. Though late in the year, it is a blessing to see our students thriving in the classroom and enjoying the communal setting that they are used to. Despite the challenges and obstacles, our community has been able to achieve some amazing things which we are excited to share with you. Also in tonight's program, you will hear about the financial needs of our community and the standing invitation to you to partner with us in our mission by making a gift. The funds raised through our 2021 Legacy Gala will support student financial aid, learning resource upgrades, and campus and facility improvements. Both the daily operation and the long-term sustainability of our school are highly dependent on these three initiatives. Tonight, we are asking for your consideration in contributing to these efforts as a beacon of hope for the continuation of helping students discover and develop their God-given potential. I'd now like to pass it over to one of our beloved teachers, Ms. Sandra Navaretti, and some of our wonderful students. Hello, BCHS community. As Mr. Bravo mentioned, there have been some truly amazing things happening at Borgade. In recent years, Borgade has taken great pride in helping develop our students through technology. Our talented and brilliant educational technology director, Ms. Lynn McLaren, has built a thriving tech program to help maximize student learning. As we entered a hybrid learning model this past year, we were needing some assistance to take our technology to an even further level. In November, we were awarded a $75,000 grant from the Burton Family Foundation. This funding not only upgraded equipment for teachers to use in hybrid instruction, but also fully funded the exam expenses for all 116 advanced placement students who are all set to take their AP exams next month. A special thank you to the Burton Family Foundation for their incredible support. Sophia and Micah, tell everyone how robotics did this year. 
Thanks, Ms. Everette. The Electric Eagles robotics team had one of their most successful seasons ever. In December, our team competed in the Arizona First Tech Challenge Cactus Run Tournament. This marked the first remote tournament held in the United States. Our team took third place for the Motivate Award and second place for the Inspire Award. Our success was enough to earn us our first state tournament bid in the school's robotics team history. Hey, Micah, what do you think? In January, our team won the Motivate Award at the FTC Petrified Wood Tournament. The judges' comments included, if this team was a company that was hiring, our judges would apply to work there. Our success continued into February, where we were awarded the Think Award as a part of the FTC Copper Tournament. It was a proud season, and the team is excited to build upon their success in the next year. Hey, Sabrina, would you mind giving us an update on athletics? Sure thing, Micah, and nice assist. Golden Eagle Athletics has been a crazy ride this year. After a delayed start to the fall season, our teams competed well, and this past winter season was one of the most successful our school has ever experienced. The girls' soccer team earned their first victory in program history, while adding three more wins before the season finished. The girls' basketball team made it to the first round of the state championship tournament after a 12-4 record, the highest mark in program history. And the boys' soccer team made it to the state quarterfinals in what was their fourth consecutive state tournament appearance. This spring, our softball team has dominated almost all of their competition as they look to make a state championship run. Track, tennis, and baseball are all staying competitive and finishing strong. Alina, how did student government go this year? Hi, everybody. I can truly say it has been an honor to serve as the student body president this year, and I'm so proud of our council. It wasn't easy, but despite all the challenges, we were able to host a handful of pep rallies, Spirit Week, Catholic Schools Week, Spring Fling Week, and some other awesome events and activities. Our leadership and success were awarded in January when we were announced as an Outstanding Council of Distinction by the Arizona Association of Student Councils. Earlier this month, we were also awarded the National Gold Council of Excellence Award, marking the ninth consecutive year as a recipient. Only one other high school in the state of Arizona received this award. As a council, we look forward to closing out the year strong and sending our seniors off in style. Speaking of our seniors, Christian, how about giving a senior shout out? You got it, Alina. Boy oh boy, has been a crazy year for our seniors. Switching to a hybrid learning model, navigating the uncertainty of having our senior sports seasons and not knowing what to expect for graduation has all been very challenging. But our class has persevered and we are so grateful for all the support we receive from our teachers and the school's administration. Graduation is right around the corner and we are so blessed to be able to celebrate as the class of 2021 crosses over into the alumni world, we want to thank you all for your support over these past four years. I hope you enjoy the rest of the program. Thanks, Christian. Our campus ministry core team has had so much fun coming up with new ways to keep our faith formation going strong. We are able to celebrate a number of all school masses, day of prayer retreats for all classes, and a woman's retreat last month. During Faith Families, we were able to talk about a wide range of topics to help our spiritual development. The faith is strong at Borgade Catholic. Thank you for listening to some of our highlights and accomplishments from the past year. I would now like to welcome Senior Jesus Rendon to share why we need your help. Good evening supporters of Borgade Catholic High School. It is a great honor and privilege to present to you during this important event. My name is Jesus Rendon Silva and I am a proud member of the class of 2021. As a senior, your generosity towards past gala events has directly helped my family and I. Your support towards students like me has made a difference in so many ways, and I'm here tonight to invite the continuation of that support so that students continuing their Borgate education can be blessed with the same experiences that my senior classmates and I have enjoyed. This year, the Legacy Gala is focused on funding three important initiatives, financial aid, learning resource upgrades, and campus facility improvements. This school year, 64% of BCHS families reported an annual household income of less than $60,000. Of that group, 73% reported an annual household income of less than $40,000. To address the financial needs of our families, Borgade relied on $3.2 million of assistance from private scholarships and the tax credit program. The other $2.3 million of aid 
was funded directly from Borgate's internal assistance program and operating budget. While this internal support is important for helping keep enrollment steady, it prohibits opportunities to invest in other areas of need, such as learning resource upgrades and facility improvements. So for the 2021 Legacy Gala, we are inviting you to make a gift in support of these three initiatives. By doing so, you are helping Borgate spread its resources to the areas of most need, which allows more opportunity for growth and the advancement of our mission. To bring us to the end of our program, you will hear some of our current and former families give testimony to their BCHS experiences, followed by a quick preview of Borgade's re-energized vision and an exciting announcement about student opportunities. At the end of the program, we will share more details about how you can directly support the initiatives of our 2021 Legacy Gala. Thank you all for your attention. I now invite you to listen in as members of our community share their unique connections to Borgade. If I had to explain Borgade in one word, I would say community. I would have to say a family. I know that sounds a little bit cliche. I would probably say fun and exciting. Opportunity. Hope. Spirit. Opportunity. As a parent, blessed. Definitely blessed. Very easy for me, family. Just about my entire family has gone here, but also the feeling of family being here. Very family-like, something that I never want to leave and I always feel supported by. Borgade showed me that if I worked hard, I would find success. And no matter what circumstances I was going through, if I wanted success, I could have it. You know, I got to, you know, be in student government and, and, and you know, learn about how I could be a leader and I could go on the football field and learn about structure and discipline or, and uh, obedience and you know then I would go off and do plays and I'd, I'd be able to to uh, experience a, a creative side that I didn't really know I had until I got to kind of work that out at Borgade and it led to success in the Marine Corps. I used to always tell people the easiest way to get through Marine, Marine Corps boot camp is to be Catholic and have played football. <laughs> so I got that at Borgade and boot camp was a breeze for me because I had that that fear of God and I had that discipline and I had that understanding of myself already that, that helped me uh, be successful uh, in the military and beyond that. Borgade helped me succeed in my, uh, in my career path. Um, it kind of started in Sister Christie's physics class. In class I kind of realized I'm kind of good at this and I got a love for the sciences and I kind of started a, a building block that I didn't really know was there that paved the road to become an engineer that I am today. So I think a theme about Borgate is you can try things out, see what you like, what you don't like, and see what can flourish. I had a teacher here who pushed me in my math class, and she put me in an honors math class my senior year, and she looked at me and she's like, Sandra, if you work hard, you can be successful. And I like, I never knew that. I didn't know that until she said that to me. And when she put me in that honors class, I just like, I felt that I could reach this greater part of me that I never knew was there. If anything, it really helped me know that like no matter what challenges I face, I can make it through if I keep trying. It's helped me really understand that if I want to succeed in life, I really have to try. Like I have teachers telling me this constantly. Even like the counselors here, Ms. Goldsmith has helped me get a full ride to ASU and um, it's just really helped me start my life. I really like kind of blossomed here, I guess you could say. Um, I became a lot more confident, like I said, and uh, I've been able to step into new things. I, um, I'm in band, which is something my parents didn't do when they were here. Um, I restarted the theater club, which is super fun. And um, it's just really nice to be able to start new things or become really passionate about new things because that's really easy to do here. With my older siblings uh, growing up at Borgade, um, I had the opportunity of, of growing up at Borgade as well with their, their sports programs and softball, baseball, games like that. I, I had the opportunity of, of kind of understanding and knowing Borgade and, and the family essence of, of what Borgade really meant and um, it was really easy for me to find figure out what high school to go to because I already kind of felt at home at Borgade uh, but one of the big things that I can see Borgade's family and how that is united and how that relates to kind of our families is the, the biggest word that comes to my head is diversity and not in the, the typical sense but 
Uh, at least in my experience at Borgate, I, have a lot, I had a lot of different friend groups. Um, I, I know my older brother had a lot of different opportunities that he went. Uh, we all kind of had a different, different experience with Borgate, but, but we were all part of that Borgate family. And that's kind of how we're, we're at today, is we all have our own points of view. We all have worked different areas, different parts of, of the Phoenix metro area. Um, but we're still still that that tight you know, family unit, and and I think a lot of that mirrors from Borgade to to our family today. Wow, as a Borgade Catholic alumna, it's so great to watch that video and hear about the wonderful connections shared with our school across so many time periods. As you heard in that video, Borgade can be this great place of community and culture. Sometimes it's hard for us to explain what's in the secret sauce. But those of us who have experienced Borgade can feel it all the way to our core. This past year has been a great testament to our community's perseverance. It has also put us in a position to refocus on what's important and reflect on our identity as a school and the purpose of our mission. In our reflection and desire to bring clarity to the vision, our admin team has been working on modeling our culture on the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. As we think about the importance of family and the many places that family is experienced, including here at Borgade, it becomes clear that understanding the Holy Family from the context of our faith can ignite a sense of growth within our community. Beginning with our Lord and Savior, students have an opportunity to model themselves in Jesus' image through Borgade's core programming. Educating students in the context of our Catholic mission allows formation through the lens of what Borgade has always been and will continue to be. As we consider Mary in the Holy Family, we discover this great gift of servitude. Beginning next year, we will be implementing a service learning program that is rooted in Mary as a disciple of Jesus and mother of God. Borgate is often recognized as being a place of yes. Our beliefs include that all are welcome and that each student deserves the opportunity to receive a Catholic education. Our yes mirrors Mary's yes to God's will, and the formation of our students in service will continue to be a core value of our mission. As we think about St. Joseph and his role as husband and worker within the Holy Family, we're witness to a life shaped by faith. Joseph modeled this faith with a yes to God's plan for his future with little understanding of how his life would be transformed. He left his heart open to a call and opportunity and his trust in God became his vocation. Like Joseph, we are always embracing opportunity and looking for ways to fulfill God's call. As is stated directly in our mission, we're called to help students discover and develop their God-given potential. It is in strengthening this mission that we announce the welcome of a new and exciting opportunity for our students. I'm pleased to share that Borgade Catholic High School is officially the first Catholic high school in the diocese to form a partnership with the Western Maricopa Education Center, otherwise known as Westmec. Westmec is a West Valley school district that is dedicated to providing innovative career and technical education programs that prepare students to pursue further education and enter the workforce. Westmec programs provide students opportunities to earn college credit and industry certifications in a variety of programs. Take a look. Wow, where do I sign up? Beginning in the fall, seven Borgate Catholic students will enroll at Westmec as part of their automotive tech, EMT, medical assisting, electrical trade specialty, and veterinary science programs. These students will spend part of their school day taking core elective classes at Borgade and part of their day at Westmec working toward an industry certification in their programs. As is modeled within the Holy Family, we know that we are uniquely called by name to God's plan and we are incredibly proud of these students as they embark on a new pathway towards success. And we look forward to expanding this program to more students in the future. For those interested in learning more about Westmec, we invite you to visit westmec.edu. We look forward to sharing updates and information about this amazing opportunity for our students. Thank you for all your support as we elevate Borgade to new heights. 
To conclude our event program, I turn it back over to our principal, Mr. Bravo, for some closing remarks. Thank you, Miranda, Esmeralda, and Ryan for helping illustrate our mission. That just about brings us to the end of our 2021 Legacy Gala program. We know that this past year has been difficult, but your support has served as a pillar for our school community. And we hope that you feel called to continue your partnership with Borgade Catholic High School in serving our students. Once more, if you would like to make a gift, please visit www.legacygala21.givesmart.com. To those who have extended their generosity already, thank you for your gift. We look forward to keeping you updated on all the great things coming in our future. To all of the businesses, organizations, and individuals who supported our auction, thank you for rallying behind our event and showing your faith in our efforts. One more thank you to Mike and Sheila Geddes for their unwavering generosity and for being an inspiration to others in our community. Lastly, thank you for taking the time to tune in for our 2021 Legacy Gala. We are proud to have you as a member of our community and we look forward to the next engagement. Until then, may God bless you and have a great evening.